Welcome to Core Collective and our online mat work sessions. I'm Kelsey and this is Sophia. And we're going to be taking you guys through some mat work sessions you can do at home. Let's get started. We are back again with another more challenging mat class exercise for you guys today. Today we're going to be starting down on our mats. Alright, so finding your imprinted spine today. Lower back's going to be touching down, light tuck of the tailbone to find that, so our whole spine's going to be good. Hands up towards the ceiling, palms facing towards each other. Then you're going to interlock your fingers. So you're creating a nice strong triangle from fists to each of your shoulders. Deep breath in. So you breathe out. We're going to float our right foot to tabletop. Make sure we've got that imprint. Left foot comes up as well. From here, in a moment, we are going to be opening out our knees. We're going to keep those feet glued together throughout this exercise as we start to warm up. There will be advancements as we move through. Just take it to the level you need to today. All right, starting off, deep breath in. As you breathe out, you're gonna nod your chin to your chest. Start to reach up with the hands, peeling up the spine, opening the knees, coming to our cheerleader. All right, in this position here, we wanna make sure those hands are forward over the pubic bone. The knees are open, but they haven't pulled in any closer towards us, so we're nice and stable through those hips. As you breathe in, slowly lowering down, the knees come back together, here lowers, hands come back. Breathe out, lift it up, scoop down through the belly, peel up, reach those hands over pubic bone, breathe in, knees close, head comes down, hands over the chest. Working through a few more like this. Breathe out, lift and reach, breathe in, control the lower. All right, continue to work through. See if you can start to pull your belly button a little deeper down to your spine. So each time you look up, you're looking down towards your belly, seeing if there's a little bulge there, and if there is, see if you can flatten it out. Working through for three. Breathe out, lift and reach up over the pubic bone. Final two, breathe in low. Breathe out, lift and reach it up, curl up a little higher each time. Final one here, breathe in. Breathe out, lift it up, open the knees, reach and hold. See if you can reach further to those heels. Three, keep breathing. Two, can you pull down a little deeper? And coming down on one. You're gonna take that one more time. We're gonna up your notch. All right, taking it back to make it a little bit harder now. We're gonna keep that imprinted spine. Once again, fingertips come to ceiling. We're gonna interlock those fingers back together. One foot floats to tabletop position, followed by the other, we glue those legs together. All right, we're just going to work through for six, but we're going to take it nice and slowly to start to get that set up really good here. Taking a deep breath in, make sure those knees are over your hips, that lower back's touching down. As you breathe out, we're going to come to our cheerleader from before. So lifting the head and chest, reach the hands over the pubic bone, knees open. From here, keeping that same exhale breath, we're going to extend our legs out long, stretching out through those toes. You're going to bring the heels all the way back together as you start to breathe in, and you're going to lower your head and chest as you pull the knees back together. Breathe out, open the knees as you reach the hands forward. Keep those legs extended for a moment. Breathe in, pull back, knees together, lower the head and chest. Breathe out, we lift up, knees open. Extend the legs. Breathe in, pull the heels together and lower the head as the knees come back together. We've got three more. See if you can start to round a little higher. Continue to open up the neck, the shoulders, working through with that same controlled breath. Moving through for final two. Breathe out, lift up. Stretch out the legs, scrap the belly. Breathe in, pull the heels back. Knees together, lower the head and chest. That means this is our final one. Breathe out, lift up, open knees. Stretch those legs out, hold it there. See if you can reach up a little higher. Now see if you can peel up a little higher again. Make that into a pulse. Keep pulling the belly button down, stretch the legs a little further. Five, four, three, two, all the way up on one. And hug the legs in towards you. Release that one on off. Give the back a little roll out from side to side. Soften through those shoulders. All right. So taking on that more challenging variation of the exercise. Once again, we want to imprint the spine, lower back's touching down. Feel that ribs hip connection starting to tighten. Hands come up towards the ceiling once more and interlock those fingers. 
So you've got again that really strong triangle, nice straight arms, fists reaching out, shoulders down the back. From here, breathe out, put your right foot to table top, glide up the leg, one, two, hold it steady. Keeping that lower back touching down. We're going to be starting by working through the same exercise just as we did. Deep breath in to start. As you breathe out, knock the chin to the chest, heel up, open the knees and hold it here. Alright, our lower back's touching down, our belly is scooping in, soften out those shoulders if you need. From here, you're going to breathe out and extend the legs out long. So we've got a big V position with those legs. You're going to pull those heels back together and lower the head and chest as the knees come back. Breathe out, lift up, extend the legs all in one breath. Breathe in, heels come back down together, close the knees and lower the chest. See if you can lift up a little further, four more. Breathe out. Extend, breathe in, we lower the knees together. Breathe out, lift. Extend, breathe in, knees together long. Final three here. Final two. Start to think about your throat, if you're able to keep your throat open, if you're able to keep your shoulders from switching up to your ears. Final one. Breathe out, lift up, extend the legs and hold. Take a deep breath in, see if you can lengthen those legs further. As you breathe out, can you feel like it's higher? Breathe in, lower an inch, breathe out, lift. Make it a pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift up a little higher. Excellent, and hug those knees in towards you. Give that muscle a little roll through from side to side, softening the neck, softening the shoulders. Okay, so we're going to go through a slamming one to the to advanced series now, working through with our glutes and our sides, our obliques and abdominals. So you're going to come to kneeling on your mat, knees stacked underneath your hip bones, starting to wrap that rib to hip connection in. So we're already starting to find our plank long line from pubic bone to crown of head. You're going to tip your body right off to the side. You really want to have that fingertips facing towards the back end of your mat. Top leg comes out long. All right, from here, we're going to aim to keep that knee underneath our hip. We're going to aim to keep that waistline lifted, our shoulders stacked. Really push the floor away from you through that right, right hand and taking a few big breaths here. Top hand is going to come onto our hip to start with. Beautiful. Sitting up nice and long through the spine. Switch on those abs. Hover your foot a few inches off the mat. Deep breath in to start as you breathe out. You're going to slowly lift up. Now it's not going to be a huge lift here. You're going to feel that challenge between top and bottom glutes. As you breathe in, you're going to slowly lower the foot down. Breathe out to slowly lift. Keep the waistline lifted. Breathe in to slowly lower. Now this does not have to be done fast. It's all about working that stability through your shoulder girdle. All about working that stability through those hips. Ooh, I'm already getting nice and shaky. Moving through for three. Breathing into lower. Final two, keep that toe pointed if you can. Beautiful. Final two, final one. This must be one good party to count it. Hold it there. Open out the chest, crown of head is long away from your toes. See if you can rotate your thigh bone slightly to the ceiling. You're going to take tiny little circles. If you imagine you've got a pencil stuck between your toes, can you create teeny tiny circles on the far wall? Five, four, three, Two, one, hold it steady. Can you change direction? Tiny circles, I'm shaking. Five, <laughs> four, keep the abs on. Three, two, one, hold it steady here. Final flex of the foot, toes towards the face. Can you lift your foot a little higher? Little pulses. Five, four, three, two, one, and release it down. <laughs> A lot harder than when you're on your elbows, right? So from here, that left foot is going to stay forward in front of your right foot. You're going to bring that right foot back, finding our side plank position. Okay, stacking those hips, stacking those shoulders. Left hand comes up to the ceiling. You've got a nice strong start position here. Take a deep breath in, feel that length out through the crown of the head as you breathe out. You're going to round that arm under, thread the needle through. Keep the hips stacked, twist through the rib patch. Breathing in, can you line it back up? Reach those fingertips back up. Breathing out, find that rotation and twist. Breathing in, bring it back. Awesome, really focusing on keeping those hips nice and steady throughout. 
focusing on trying to see if you can keep them blaring forward. Can we activate those abs a little further? Final two. Breathe in, lift it up. Final one here, breathe out, twist. Can you lift your right waistline a little higher? Lifting up and hold it up there. Little pulses with those hips. Lift the waistline. Five, four, three, two, all the way up on one. Hold, stretch out the shoulders. Crown of head and heels reaching away. Three, deep breathing. Two, add on. And on one, you're gonna drop the right knee down. Oh, take a big stretch up and over. Finding our mid leg stretch. Fingertips reaching away from our shoulders. Shoulders reaching from hips. Toes reaching from hips. Big breath in. And as you breathe out, slowly, smooth around. other side. So lifting back up to your knees, finding that nice even hip position once more. And you might be feeling that your abdominals were wanting to loosen off halfway through as you started to fatigue. So really find that rib hip connection again. Really draw that focus to your core. All right, from here again, that left hand is going to come out, fingertips facing towards the opposite end of your mat, stretching out that right leg. And then making sure that we pull the hips towards they're stacked over that knee. Now you're gonna feel this side a lot faster because we were working this side on the other side to stabilize. So just focus on finding the position, that lift, that works the best for you today. Top hand onto your top hip. Can we refine that rib hip connection and hover that top leg off a few inches? Keeping the crown of head nice and long away from the toes, big breath in. And so you breathe out with the final lift. Breathe into long. Breathe out to lift. And again, we don't have to work through the sparks. You might not have to work through very many of these at all. So just take rest as you need to. Like I said, you'll be feeling both sides firing up. They've already been pretty hardly worked at this point in time. Awesome. Now can you check on that left shoulder? Make sure it's not cracked into your ear. Push that mat away from you. And then work to really spread out those fingertips a little further. Using that breath again. Breathe out, lift. Breathe in, lower. Final one. We're going to breathe out, lift, and Hold, find that little external rotation. Oh, super shaky. Find those tiny circles. Excellent. Working through like you've got that pencil between your toes. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Can you reverse? Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. All right. Flex those toes towards your face. Final little pulses. Five. release that foot down. Oh Give it a little tap out either side if you need to, but we're going to come through that side flip series. So just reset that hand, really spread through your fingertips. Top foot comes slightly forward of your mat. That foot comes behind the top foot. Open up those shoulders. Feel that nice and long line stacked, hip bones stacked and even. Right hand to ceiling. Big breath in. Stretch out that spine. As you breathe out, you're going to find that rotation. Keep the hips forward. Twist and reach under your left arm. Breathe in, glide it back up. Breathe out to control that rotation and twist. Breathe in as you come back up. As you twist, see if you can keep that gap between your shoulders and your ear. So you aren't allowing yourself to sink into that left shoulder. Breathe in, lift up. Can you lift your hips a little higher? Final one. Breathe out, twist and rotate. Breathe in, lift it up and hold. Little pulses with those hips. Lift the waistline. Five, four, three, two, all the way up on one. Hold for five. Keep breathing. Four, three, ribs to hips. Two, and release that left knee down on one. All right, stretch out that top leg. Reach that top arm up and over and really focus into that big side body bend. Big open mermaid stretch. Slowing that breath back down. Opening the armpit to ceiling. Big breath in. And as you breathe out, we're going to get back on the breath. Oh, guys. All right, we're going to start to move through a little bit of a lunge series. So from here, taking a step forward with your right foot first. You're going to find nice straight legs. Lifted back heel, scooping in through the belly. 
net like a tailbone to connect your core. As you breathe in, you're going to bend both knees down. We want to keep that front knee sort of stacked over the ankle. So we're trying to find like a 90-90 with both the knees here. And then lifting back up. Breathe in, dip down. Breathe out, lift up. Breathing in, dip down. Really focusing on that right knee, trying not to creep forward. Focusing on those hips, staying really balanced. So just working in a pace that you can keep your pubic bone and your hip bones nice and even on the same plane. Breathing through for three. And two. Final one, hold it down here. Excellent, keeping that right knee over your ankle. Have a little check in with it now. You're gonna feel a little outer rotation of that thigh bone twisting out towards your little toes. Once you have that, without moving that front knee, can you straighten your back legs, tip your body weight forward? So now we're in our tippy bird variation of our lunge. You're going to feel that right glute starting to kick in and again focusing on that nice even pelvic stability. Keep the crown of head long, deep breath in. As you breathe out, you're going to lift up that front heel. Breathe into lower. Breathe out to lift. Try not to let your hips move, just allow your knee to feel like it pulls upwards to allow that heel to lift up. Nice, working through a few more. Can you see, see if you keep your tailbone and your bum bones nice and lifted now? Excellent, can we tip any further forward? <laughs> Final two. Final one, lift it up, hold it up here. Open out the chest, shoulders down your back. Bring the elbows into the side of the body, palms facing the ceiling. Can you straighten out that back leg, lift up that quad? Deep breath in, as you breathe out, you're gonna reach your hands forward like you're in tea tray. Breathe in, glide it back. Breathe out, reach it forward, stretch. Breathe in, pull back. As you work through this, guys, if you have hand weights at home, you are welcome to add them in for this series. It'll make it a little more challenging on both your glutes and on those arms. Working through for final three. Can you lift the heel higher? Final two. Final one, you're gonna breathe out, reach those hands forward, hold, lower your heel, lift your bum bones, reach it further forward. Nice, this is our final hold. If you wanna take it up one level, straighten through your right leg a little further. Feel that weight transfer forward, forward, and then hold that back leg off, tip a little further, hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, all right, we're gonna come straight through the other side. We're gonna do a little bit of tap out, walk it out if you need. All right, obviously we're getting a little shaky here. <laughs> Think nice, even the distance apart once more. Reset, one little roll of shoulders. One big inhale, filling the belly. One big exhale, release it off. Stepping that leg forward. All right, again, we find that nice even setup. You lift up the back heel. Nice straight legs to start with. Pelvis stays even, body stays upright. Lifting up, opening up those little bottoms. Oh, all right, breathe in, we're gonna dip it down. Find that that back knee comes to 90-90. So we've got 90 in the front, 90 in the back. Breathe out, lift up. Breathe and control that lower. Keep that scoop and tight through that rib to hip connection. Oh. Excellent. Continue with your breath here. Breathe in. Breathe out. See if you can keep a light tuck of tailbone so your bum bones don't start to poke out behind you for this one. You want to keep it really upright. Final two. Final one. Lower it down. Hold it there. All right, from here. Knee over ankle. Feel that twist out of your thigh bone. Hip bones even, shoulders down your back. Straighten through the back leg, shoot the body weight forward, but make sure that that knee doesn't creep forward towards your toes. See if you can lift those back bum bones a little higher, like you a little hook on the end of your tailbone or your front. From here, take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, we're gonna lift up that heel. Breathe into lower. Breathe out, lift up. Breathe into lower. Okay, so if you imagine that your thigh bone is doing the lifting here, your quads are doing a little more lifting, your calves. See if you can scoop your rib cage in once more. 
pull up through the belly so your body is like a plank and try not to collapse through those hips. Final one, lift up that heel, hold it up here, scoop in that belly. Elbows into the side of the body, tip the body weight a little further. Big breath in. Breathe out, reach it out. Breathe in, wipe the elbows in. Breathe out, reach. Breathe in and nice work, guys. We're waiting for around about eight repetitions of each of these. My Pilates is counting super good today, so I think we're around about four there. Five. Six. Can we lift that heel a little higher, please, final two? Can you tip your body weight a little further? Hold it out on one. Lower the heel down. Transfer your weight forward into that leg. Feel that heel connect. Soften down through the shoulders, lengthen out the spine. We've got two options. So stay down, take a near advanced variation, hold that foot off. Beautiful, continue to breathe. Scoop up the belly, we're here for five, four, three, two. Can you lift your tailbone higher and release it out on the bottom? <sighs> Thanks so much for joining us and we hope to see you guys in class soon.